Yo, what's up, guys? Yo, what's up, guys? Oh, wait, my, um... My thing is over. Okay, cool. I'm ready, man. It's time. It's time, baby. Oh, let's go. So, yeah, what's up, guys? How you doing, man? Just came back. Back to reality, back to anything. I was in Spain. I'm gonna talk more about that later on in the podcast arena. Uh, I was taking a nap because I had a headache. So now we Gucci man. So what are we talking about today? We're gonna talk about um this cool thing that happened, well not cool, the pirate explosion, so let me, let me search that first, let me, by root explosion, uh, BBC, Oh man, I always hate cookies, dude. Alright, so. Boop, 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 shortly, yeah, it's true. That's a big ass explosion, holy shit. The thing is, those the people in the in the cars, holy shit, that's crazy. Okay. So oh ba, 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 ba. okay. Ooh, alright, I knew it. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. Now I know and I knew it. So that's crazy. So yeah, I'm going to talk about that later on. I just want to check something out, alright? Hello there. Yo, what's up, man? How are you feeling? I'm, I'm feeling fine. Just tired. But fine. How are you doing? So I'm feeling that. I just woke up. Well, I now woke up. I was taking a little nap before. What were you thinking of? I was taking, taking a little nap. Oh, okay. Man. Was it a good nap? No. No? Shitty nap? Man. I didn't like it, dude. Those are not worth it. Didn't like it at all. But those times where you feel reborn, man, like, oh shit. No, I feel like shit. I feel fucking shit. I feel like energy shit. Drink? Just do energy drinks like no keep. No. No, maybe caffeine, but I'm good. I, I'm good, dude. I'll just... I just ate some ice cream. It's a little hungry. And uh, yeah, I mean, sugars are always good. Okay. So, anyways, do you want to start? One minute. Uh, mm, good afternoon. Hello, there. Yo, what's up? Um, enable streamer modes. It's already in enabled. Sport. Um,. No, it's not. Also, it would show that you are live right now on Discord. Mm. 
when you have it enabled, people can click on your name and then they can go to your Twitch right away. Unless you didn't... No, you did. Maybe no, wait, did. you didn't... Didn't link it, maybe. Like the old yeah, I think that's... Them. Yeah, I think that's the reason. Okay, never mind. I think he linked his channel and not yeah, his our own. channel. Yeah, that's normal. Yeah. Alright. Um, so, today is... 8th August 2020. It's 4 o'clock. And we're back on time. Corona's still going on. Second wave is coming. Or already came in, in some countries. So good to hear. I'm back. So two weeks ago, or three weeks ago, we did the last episode of the Oberon podcast. Out, I took a little bit of vacation. Two weeks. And now I'm back. Welcome back. And the question is, did you guys did an episode? No, I don't think we did, right? Um, I did one, but it was really short, so I never uploaded that one. And the one from last week, we just decided to take a break until everyone was together. So this is like the first one since the last time we had one about right. the updates. All right, so, uh, so for the guys who are hearing me, I guess you guys didn't miss me because you're going to hear it as the second, as the next coming up episode. So today we're going to talk about the Beirut explosion. It's a big thing that happened, a big, horrible thing. We're going to talk about uh, why I just went away for two weeks. It's a cool thing, cool stuff. First of all, let's introduce ourselves. And I'll start. My name is War Knights and I'll be the host for today's uh, podcast. Uh, you can find me on the social media, Oberon Kingdom, uh, War Knights, Twitch TV, Dark War Knights, etc, etc. I'm always here at 4 o'clock for the Oberon podcast. Okay, well, uh, hello there. I'm David, aka The Weed. Mm, you can find my stuff on YouTube, like Oberon Kingdom. I try to be here most of the time at 4 o'clock on Saturday, but, you know, sometimes it doesn't work out. Right, Naki? Haha. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, so I'm King of Kings, Naki, Penta King, name me anything you want. I am basically the king, and yeah, welcome to the podcast. King of Varex. What? King of many things. Alright, cool. All, all the things. So, the, so, every week we have a quote. And every week we're gonna give a quote out, and it's the quote of the week for today's, uh, or the weekly quote. It's gonna be Dreams are made. Possible if you try. Always some positive uh, quotes from us. <laughs> Dreams are possible if you try. Dreams so are, tried. are made possible if you try. All right. Motivational one. I like that one. I don't feel the motivation though. <laughs> okay. Like so you'll shit. never try to become a potato. No. You have to the try. Potato. Potato. Wow. Wow. Okay. Guess I'll just study biology then. And no, you just need to throw yourself DNA. in the ground and then potatoes will come out of you sooner or later. So I'll, I'll start with the, the Spain okay. thing, why I went on vacation. And then we're going to move on over to the Beirut explosion. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys know something about it. I think you heard about it, and I already posted on the on the Discord. So we're gonna talk about that later on. First of all, let's move on into the vacation. So two weeks ago, I went on vacation, and it wasn't specifically just a vacation. The reason I went to Spain, it was in Spain, and I went to Puerto Santa Maria. And the reason because of that was because I was doing a course. And this course is about being a pilot, a drone pilot, an RPAS, a remotely pilot aircraft system operator. So I was doing the course. The thing was, is, or is, that it's in Spain and it's going to be in Spanish. So as you all know, uh, I'm Dutch, I speak Dutch, I write Dutch, I study Dutch, I speak English, 
uh, I did uh, English classes and whatever, but never have I been tested in Spanish. So in the last two months, I've been learning or I've been uh, studying a course for RPAS, the Remotely Piloted Aircraft System Operator, in Spanish. So two weeks ago, I went to Spain and I did the course. First of all, let me tell you guys, Spain is awesome. Um, if you saw on Instagram, uh, we made some uh, videos. Uh, only the last week I couldn't make videos because I was so stressed out because of the, the course coming up. It was the 1st of August was the, the first test. And the second one was on Sunday, the 2nd of August. So in that week, I was trying to learn as much as possible, trying to remember, studying again, taking notes. So yeah, that's why the last week we didn't uh, make a lot of videos, which is fine. I mean, you guys saw some pictures, you, saw some, you guys saw some cool videos, some funny videos, which is fine. If you're following me on Instagram, shout out to my Instagram. If you want to know more about the Instagram, you, uh, these on, links are below. Can you introduce the podcast in uh, Spanish as well? No. <laughs> uh, can you say, can you say that? Can you say that in Spanish? I can say, say that in Spanish. in Spanish. Can you say no in Spanish? <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> okay, so, great. He can't. I said, I said he no. Can't. <laughs> no, it's not. Like if he can't do it, he can't do it. So anyway, we did. Uh, I was studying the last week of the vacation, which was really stressful. The only thing that was keeping me up was the sea. And dude, finally, I saw some stars. So in in the Netherlands, I, I'm not sure about uh, Germany. Are you in Germany right now, the weep? I'm in Germany. Yeah. So I think um, King of Kings. He knows if you look in the sky. Here in the in Netherlands, you only see maybe one star. Is it the same in uh, Germany? Well, I I live like on the kind of like on the outside of the city, so. All right, so you look up and you see some bad. stars at least. Okay. I see some stars. I don't yeah. see like millions of stars, but mm, I see. No, stars. and that's fine. So we have a lot of light pollution here in the Netherlands, which is fine because everything is so compact and every everyone is uh, they live all together in a small small country. How many? 17 million, 17 million people? Is that correct? Or am I, am I retarded? Currently 17 plus million people, almost 18 million. Yeah, 17 million plus, people. Plus, plus immigrants and illegal people, yes. All right, fine. <laughs> Child traffic. Maybe 18 million people. Yeah. So, and, you, and because of that, that's a lot of light, so you can see it. However, in Puerto Santa Maria, I'm gonna call it Cadiz, so people know where it is. And it's in the south, south of Spain, more to the Portuguese side of Spain. And uh, the main, it's, do you guys know where Sevilla is? It's, it's a three hours right, mm, yeah. two hours right from, from there to Puerto Santa Maria. Yeah, and every night I actually went to the beach alone I took my uh, my seat with me, and I, I one hour I was just like talking, like okay, please God, please see moon, whatever, help me with this test, at least at least being lucky and stuff, because the test I was I was feeling fucking uh, stressed. And yeah, finally Should the be. test came, and the first test it was. So I told you guys it's Spanish, man. I mean, I'm, I mean, if it's English or English or uh, Dutch, I mean, it's fine, because I understood everything how it works. The only problem is, have you ever taken a test in a different language? Mm. Other than English, Dutch, German, and French. I mean, for uh, for us, du for us Dutch and English, I guess, and you can do German if you're really good at German, and for uh, the weep. Well, I had to do tests like in Czech, English, German. Yeah, all right. And French. So like, have you ever yeah. done uh, something like a test in another language about science? About <clears throat> science. Yeah, about the the second law of uh, gravity. Yeah, 
So I have to learn. I, I had to fucking learn that in Spanish. Um, so that's what I'm telling you. So, in order to do this test, you have to learn first about the rules. So and not just oh you cannot uh, you cannot do this because blah blah blah. No, you have to learn the fucking aerodynamic rules by uh, distinguishing the numbers of articles and whatever the fucker you know. An obelisk. This is a fucking obelisk. They call it obelisk. And so, yeah, so let's say rule 10, 37, slash 7. The rule will allow you to fly in a visible zone above Europe. And then this in Spanish. So the thing is, uh, and, and more about aerodynamics and why does an airplane fly and how come the wind is, is stronger and whatever the fuck. And also the science about it, the motors. You have to literally know everything about a flying object, about how the air works, so aerodynamics in this case, and mechanica, so, and software. How does it work? In Spanish. So yeah, you can understand that if they ask me in Spanish some word, because it was Spanish, like Catalan Spanish, Catalano. The, so it's Spanish, Spanish. If they ask me a word that I don't understand in Spanish, you go and be like uh, men are Espanol. They would just kick you out of it. Nah, thank God I, could, like, I was talking Spanish with them. Well, I, I was quiet all the time, but when they ask me, I'm like, oh, I'm this and that. So it, those questions, they were I didn't understand a lot because those I've never heard of those uh, questions. Do you guys? Oh, by the way, also, <laughs> I got tested. In Able to Fly, you have to be tested medically. They, te they tested me for cocaine, uh, opium, oh. wheat, and... Oh, I, was, I was expecting, like, oh, corona? So you got busted. Because some drugs, yeah, and I, I guess for corona as well at this moment. <laughs> I guess for corona, yeah. Mainly the drugs, maybe corona. And they tested my blood and how I was psychology and was I... Uh, I was in a good mental health, uh, mental state. My body was working. Am I, <laughs> am I blind, colorblind? Can I hear? Uh, are my lungs all right? So yeah, that's a cool thing uh, to have. I, I got tested. I came out good, man. I, I learned. I learned. I, I was allergic for apples mm -hmm. and pancakes. Oh, wow. Pancakes. Wait, yeah. how did you find out? So in the they they took my blood and uh, they tested. It. I don't know. They 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 have like a. I can bring it up. But it's in Spanish, I guess you cannot see it. So they say, uh, in your blood, there's a, like a something, I don't know what's called. There's something in it, and if you have a lot of it, it means you're allergic for some stuff. Oh, I thought like, okay, I, I never I never understood like how they would test. Yeah, I don't like, understand the, allergic uh, like how you can are? see it in the blood. I don't know how you can test it with, with real stuff, but you cannot, they can test it with uh, some particles of your blood, I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, oh, I, like I know like, I'm allergic. Here's a plate of apples. Eat them. Yeah, and pancakes. And pancake, panna cooker. Pancakes as well. Okay, that's a weird one. Panna cooker. All right, so, so let's move on. Are you leaving at uh, 4 30, right? Uh, I can stay longer. I'll just have to rush though. All right, so let's move on quick, real quick. So uh, I took the test, fucking horrible. I hated that fucking test and I didn't understand anything. Uh, at the end, I had a score. Of sixty-eight percent, and man, uh, oh, man, man, the one percent, man, man. <laughs> for the sixty-nine. Sixty-nine, man. <laughs> oh man, I didn't, I didn't like, I didn't care about that at that moment. So sixty-eight, um, one hundred questions, sixty-eight, and That's you have to fast. have eighty-eight, eighty-five percent to pass. Oh wait, why what? Yeah, you have I to. Thought, I, I <laughs> thought sixty was a solid pass. No, it's. That's a, not a pass. That's a go fuck yourself and go home. Uh, and I had a 68%. And then there's another test. So there's 100 questions and 50 questions for Mechanica. And, and that's the, the drone. So you have to learn lithium batteries. Uh, whatever the batteries they are. The time, the energy it takes and how it works a drone. Aerodynamic, mechanics and the software as well. 
And at that test, I got 28. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> out of 100. Yo, that, out of 50. Okay. Out of 50. So that was even 50. worse, my dude. 28 out of 50. That's 60. No, 54 out of No, it's less. Uh, no. Anyway, so what happened? Thank God I had a, a, a chance to redeem myself. And I took it. Took it. I took the test again the same day. Because I, cause I told him oh, I was nervous and stuff. And yeah, I was nervous. Because it was in another fucking language, for fuck's sake. I took the test. And guess what, baby? Uh, I had 85. 85%. Nice. But test the next one, same, eighty-five uh, percent. Boom, tested Sunday. I had to go back, so I have to, so I had to drive to a center where they take the test, and then the next day they take. You have to ride to somewhere else where the aircrafts are and everything, because I have to fly, right? So first day is uh, riding, learning and stuff. Second day is actually operating uh, your drone. And it was a, oh, let me, I forgot to tell you guys. So the drone is a Mavic 2 Pro drone, and it's 4 kilograms. It can fly up to 120 meters and in a radius of one of 8 kilometers around you. And it's 31 minutes in the air with resistance of air, depending on the quality and the dense quality of the air. So yeah, dude, and again, nervous. I went well. I flew. I was and I was. I was maybe the 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 sixth, the sixth guy who flew the drone, and I I passed again. Boom! Guess what, guys? I'm a pilot right now. He's a pilot. I'm a fucking pilot. Mm -hmm. uh, air, <laughs> a drone pilot. But I guess I'm a pilot. So now, what does that mean? What does the fucking okay? Now you're a pilot. Then what? And why, why do you need a, a, drone, a drone for? What the fuck are you going to do with a drone? I mean, all right, let me tell you guys. So the reason for, for all this bullshit and stress in, in another fucking country doing a test that I could do here as well. First of all, the, the, the course in Spain was 500 euros. Yes? In the Netherlands, it's 800 euros. Yes? It's even more. So that's that's one of the reason. Uh, one of the reasons. Well, actually, let's say it's the main reason. I mean, it's it's the main reason because it's in Spain is cheaper than here in the Netherlands. That's the reason. That's that's the reason. Second, uh, I might be working for a company doing security checks, inspections with a drone. <laughs> wow. Uh, yes, talking people with drones. <laughs> well, no, dude, like a site inspection, you know. Uh, uh. Let's say, uh, uh, let's say there's a nitrogen uh, container, and I have to check if it's there still, so I can uh, <laughs> report it to the authorities. So, I'm a pilot. Now, moving on, I think this is a perfect segue about the nitrogen. Uh, the nitrogen boat or whatever it was in Beirut Lisbon oh, or Lebanon it's nitrate it's the nitrate not nitrogen let me see it's nitrogen right Ni it's no, nitrate it's nitrate is explosive when it's uh, combined with oh, other ammonium yeah. uh, you freeze chemicals. stuff with nitrogen you freeze stuff with ammonium it. nitrate it's a crystallized yep. uh, 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 with nitrogen for okay. So there's an, uh, an explosion happened in Beirut. Did you guys hear about it? Yeah, I think we all have. Uh, you guys for saw me, it was I got I woke up and then I went on YouTube and then there was like breaking news from 30 minutes ago. So I clicked on it and I saw the explosion. And I was like, damn, it's actually huge. Oh, that's how you find out. Yeah. Oh, I found a, a weird way. Just like, I go onto Instagram, right? Nice. Mia Khalifa posting. Nice. 
Oh, it's about um, explosion in Lebanon. <laughs> nice. Um. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's how I found out. <laughs> so, did you guys saw the video? What did? What are your reactions uh, on the video? Ah, oh, man. For some reason, I'm not surprised anymore. I think that's the thing for me right now. Like everything that goes wrong in this year, it feels like it to be expected for some reason. I know that so. it's not ex to be expected, and that is tragic. But at the end, it's I'm not sure. I wasn't shocked for some reason. So your reaction would be pretty much like it is what it is. Twenty it's twenty twenty. So it that is what reaction. it is. So it is what it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No. It's just. <sighs> I don't know, it just, it just seems like something out of the movie, really. It's like, I, I didn't expect to see something like that. Yeah. I think that was the first explosion I ever saw that was so big. Yeah. And so fucking, like, it, it looks cool and everything. <laughs> it looks super cool, but when you, mm, they, you so know sure what it is, cool it's for like, the I, I, people yeah. that were around that area. Yeah. I mean, like, some people were just filming and not running away. I mean, like, yeah. Yeah. You could have run away, man. You could have run away. It's like crazy. But thanks for the footage. Thanks for the footage, but you could have run away. Yeah, of course, dude. It's horrible for the people, man. Like, disaster. Holy shit. Did you, did you guys saw the, the before and after pictures? No. No, you can show it. I just saw the video of the explosion and holy shit. Let me check if there are some good pictures. Uh, this is the only one, which is stupid actually. Oh no, wait. Oh no. Before and after for August 2020. Yeah, four days ago actually. Crazy. <coughs> so this is the before. The area just disappeared. Everything is nice. People are driving a car. Water is fucking blue. Uh, the port is all right, and then boom, building destroyed. This crater in the middle, everything is crushed. Everything is fucking crushed. Even the buildings on the side, nothing is standing up. The the cranes, nothing is standing up. Yeah. Oh. The cars are fucking kaput, kaput. Everything is gone to shit. So yeah, let's talk about the explosion. Uh, do you know how much the <laughs> the impact has on a human body that explosion? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> okay, dude. Calm down. I would lie if I said yes. I mean, like. Well, okay, okay. Uh, from which distance are we talking about? Uh, five. I mean, five kilometers. Five kilometers. Um. 5,000 meters. Oh, man, things like it, it, it's like it was an earthquake pretty much, right? Which went far away from the center. Man, I have no idea. So have you heard about the, well, that's for, like a G, uh, the, the gravity. Yeah. Have you, have you ever saw videos about dynamite? No, never. And what it does to uh, your body? Nope. So the... Mm. Yes, the uh, King of Kings? Yeah, I just wanted to see you. Okay, do you know what, what it do does? Do? Such an explosion? It shifts the molecules inside of your body, giving a radioactive reaction, which will make you explode from the inside. Dyna Whoa, okay. Dynamite goes brrrr. That's what it does. From the inside? Oh. So this explosion, particularly, is the 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 one of uh, I mean the chance of this explosion is I'll be honest like zero whatever the fuck, never actually, and it happened. So what does this explosion to your body? This explosion actually makes you gelatin if you are next to it in two thousand meters. You're gonna become so. Uh, that's why I was talking about the dynamite when the dynamite is too close to you and is a, like a ton of a g-force on you, your body will become gelatin. It will become like paste with hair. Just paste with hair, you know? On the ground, just a paste and then with hair. That's it, that's, that's all. So all these people who are close, they, 
actually they, they had no fucking uh, chance because the g-force is so fucking big it's disgusting how you just you, you just die instantly and you become a jelly and you become a like butter on the ground with hair so now the second thing about the explosion so as we already uh, told what kind of material was it ammonium nitrate ammonium nitrate with what um not sure what the reaction was but it was ammonium nitrate uh, let me check first before I say some shit. Anyway, so the gas that produces the this bomb, I'm gonna call it a bomb because it's actually a bomb. <laughs> it's a fucking bomb, dude. So the the gas. Uh, wait, let me check. That produces this to nitrogen, ammonium, ammonium nitrate. Oh, okay, it's a source of nitrogen. Okay. Ooh, okay, so the, the ammonium nitrate is a gas that if you inhale, your lungs will, eventually they will, uh, well, they will, how is the name? They will get infected and then they'll just fucking die, I guess. They'll just be unable to save. So the people who, who had no, well, I hope they had masks because of the corona. The people who fucking had the, a lot of gas into their lungs because they were breathing this stuff, they will also die. <laughs> Which is fucking insane. So not only the, the, the pressure, the G-force of this bomb will kill you. No. Guess what, baby? Ammonium nitrate is here to kill you as well. From your lungs. And the corona is here as well. <laughs> so even if you survive, you have to beat corona again. Or you have to beat corona with it. What do you guys think about yeah, that? What I said at the beginning is like it's 2020, everything just goes from one disaster to another. And I don't think something like this has happened in the past, I don't know how long, since uh, Hiroshima probably, Japan, where there was this big of an explosion. But yeah, I don't know. I think this is just the beginning of worse things to come. Just a feeling. Well, not the beginning, but it's like one of the things that began at the beginning of the year. Feels like, yeah, 2020, two months to go until it's done. <laughs> That's how it feels like. Damn, that's crazy, dude. We won't even finish the year. Ah, <sighs> that is so too crazy. Many, too many people dying right now in the world. So the question now is, who is to blame? I think I want to blame the weed, but I'm pretty sure he wasn't there. <laughs> they know nothing. Because <laughs> I read somewhere like they were, they knew they, they had it, and it was already not safety, and they had it for six years, and nobody like, like it realized it was next to a fucking storage of fireworks. Wait, what? No, I'm not. I'm like, I, don't, I heard something about fireworks, but it's not. The, the um, thing catched on fire, and then it, and then it went next to the storage of the. Ammonium nitrate and then kaboom. Damn, it's crazy, dude. I'll be honest, I think this is the government's fault. I... It is of everyone who worked there, everyone who did security checks, everyone in the government, everybody who didn't take it seriously until it was too late. And so, there were, so Lebanon or Beirut was asking for donations, right? And the French president. He said, I'm not going to send money to a corrupt, to corrupt people, which says a lot, actually. I mean, in some way it makes sense, but I would just send it to the families straight away instead of like from government to government. Because there are so many people who lost their homes through the explosion, so they need somewhere to stay. Yeah, that's a lot. So I would do it uh, in... Like, not directly through the government, but by the people with organizations and stuff. Damn, it's... It's crazy, man. You want to say something about this as well, the weep? No. Nah. It's so stupid this year. It's a stupid. It's stupid, though. Stupido. Wow. 
And poor people. Oh, it's, it's, just, it's just a tragedy. So yeah, well, we lost a lot of people uh, that day. Four days ago. Yeah, usually, usually when I go on YouTube and I see this kind of news, I usually am like... For me, I turned off the notifications about the terrorists and America and all the other stuff, like the negative stuff. It's fine to be aware, but I don't want to be seeing it like pretty much everywhere where I don't have any impact on what's going to happen and whatnot. So I turned it, uh, turned it off. So when I saw this one, I was like, wait, didn't I turn off the terrorist attack stuff? So I clicked on it. First thing, it was a ex like terrorist attack. And then I saw the explosion. I was like, ah, it's a chemical reaction. Because bombs have a different way of exploding compared to this one. But yeah, they uh, they figured out like after a day that it was uh, it was a tragedy. Tragedy. Yeah, the the firefighters died. They did as well. No, they were just standing, and they they got. Oh. No, did they fucking? <laughs> Whoa, that's crazy. So, uh, who is to blame? Mm, do you guys think? Well, there's. I don't know how many deaths there are, but they still have to find a lot of uh, people. I mean, all those people are like surrounded. I think they they counted five hundred. Five hundred dead. Yeah, right already. Injured. But I think it's gonna be more. Wasn't yeah, it like, like during 100? the explosion it was like 70 something, but then yeah. uh, they obviously need to register everyone who died, just wasn't there. Yeah. So they those can... who got confirmed basically. Yeah. Uh, they only can count uh, people who. They only can count deaths if they confirm who they are. That's how they oh. count deaths. So they're actually. So there might be more. And I think it's gonna be way more. Because everybody is under the fucking. Walls and 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 everything, you know, under the glass, and it's paste as well. So how the fuck are you gonna identify paste with hair, with with a DNA DNA test? So yeah, I think there's still gonna be a lot of people. And also the the thing is, the people who weren't uh, who didn't die, I think they had some uh, toxic gas in their lungs as well. So I'm Damn, boy. Which is, it's funny because I read, I was reading about the materials. Well, when I do, I was doing the course, so the, the the fucking gas. So nitrogen. So if you breathe in nitrogen, you will die immediately, right? I think it was acid. No, Nit acid nitrogen. Something with acid nitrogen. If you if you breathe that, you will die. Like no matter what, you, in one second, you'll fucking die. So ammonium nitrate is like, ooh, ew. So that sucks. Uh, okay, the whip. We got four thirty-threes. Do you still have time, mate? Man, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. What? Let's do we'll it. Just okay. continue. We'll just do it. I okay. Let's do it. 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 So now, next thing, TikTok. Do you, know, do you guys know about TikTok? I, I mean, know that doesn't? there's a lot of users that are underage. And other than that, I'm just trying to avoid the entire platform. Why? Because you are a boomer and a kid? Yeah. Because you wouldn't fit in. Okay. <laughs> sure. Do you have but, uh, TikTok? Go ahead and explain. <laughs> do you have TikTok, Gilberto? <laughs> I have... I think I have one TikTok, but I don't post anything on it. Ah, okay, so you just watch TikTok videos. Yeah, I just watch. I just watch. Uh, I'm an old pervert, mate. Man, those are all underage girls, man. All of them. Yeah, that's why. That's why it's disgusting. I mean, there's there's some funny shit as well. I was watching uh, some videos, how 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 children talk with like boys, just boys. How they were talking to some some mother, dude. That was hilarious. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. This funny and yeah, there's a lot of fucking. I'll be honest. So I was asking this around. I was asking, yo, is this real or is this fake? So a lot of shit is fake. All the so there's some, a lot of fucking you know like weird stuff like step step brother and um, 
old man and shit. That shit is fake. It's not real, dude. Oh, yeah, of course. It's fucking fake as fuck, man. And all those fucking girls are also fake. They're just trying to get the the money, the fuse. So everything yeah, is sure. fake as well. But the fact that they're doing it. So let, a quick a quick update for uh, King of Kings, since he doesn't know what TikTok is. So TikTok is. Let's. Do you know Vine? Yeah, I know what TikTok is, but I don't use it. As, so I'm like. Okay, uh, but you you understand what it is. You just I understand don't... what it is, but you can explain it either way. Yeah, yes, uh, the yeah, way we, we can explain, explain to, to the viewers. To the viewers, so um, it's pretty much. How would I explain it? It doesn't. It doesn't have to be like. It's like Vine, just. Better. Bad it doesn't... Better or better? Better. Better. Ah. It's better. It's much better. No, it's not. I don't know. It's on the same level. It's just another company. What makes it better than Vine? I guess you can just interact with other people, right? As well. On it. Yeah. Ah, but it's Chinese on the other. It's Chinese. And the music now. and stuff. Chinese man, Just, it's Chinese. That's all you have. To do. Okay. So why do you think uh, America is gonna ban TikTok? They're already planning, right, to do it. Yeah, they have 40, 45 days. They said they have forty-five days. Yes, unless they what? Decides to sell it to them to America. Yeah, right. To an America owner. American owner. I think Trump is going a bit crazy with the Chinese government. On the other hand, it's the Chinese government, man. It's gonna be anything. It's 2020. Anything can happen. It's World War yeah, Three, and that's uh, why I'm like thinking. I don't think he should be focused on anything related to TikTok at this moment of the year. I think there are uh, more pressing matters at hand. Yeah. But it's Trump, I mean. When, when are the re elections again? Are they already going on? No, right? I think he wanted to delay it or cancel it, right? He, he, I think he. I, I think he planned something to, you know, stay a president. Because it, as, as it looks, he will not be a president again. And I hope he won't again. <laughs> I remember when I people were saying that. Four years ago. Yeah, but I mean, it was, it was like Hillary Clinton. I mean, it says Trump, enough about Trump. America that would rather have an incompetent person as a president than a woman. But on the other hand, Hillary just wasn't a good candidate either. Just like both were meh. It was deciding like, okay, which is not as bad as the other for both sides. This time it's mm. like Joe Biden is winning right now, right? Honestly. I think it's just America in general. Every, oh, this is a America. retard guided, guided by more retards. No offense to America. The stereotypical uh, American, I mean. Yep, so back to TikTok. Back to TikTok. Mm, am I happy? Are you guys happy that TikTok's getting banned in America? Honestly, don't care. Yeah, I don't care. I honestly don't care. I mean, it's like okay, but I mean, the uh, TikTok is, I guess, the future. What's the future? What's gonna be the future? But I don't care, man. I mean, the reason they're banning TikTok is because the the privacy of everyone is being shared in China. 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 That's the reason why. And because you have to share everything on China, they don't want that. I mean, I think that's it's a it's a good a uh, reason why, because are you your information is being shared and everything, which is not fun at all. I mean, I don't even share my fucking name on the internet. Oh, who are you again? I'm Warren. What's up, dude? Oh, nice, 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 nice. nice. Uh, War Knight, what's your last name? What, what's your last name, War Knight? My name is War Knight, uh, from the guild, uh, My name is Seth. Opera. Mm, hello, War Knight from the guild Opera. And I'm a level 120 Warlock, mate. <laughs> Virgin still as well, so I'm super Fuck. Warlock. 
Man. I already assumed that when you said warlock. <laughs> Do you also wear crocs and, t and, and socks? Hell yeah, brother. And I sit home behind my computer. Anyway, so back to the to TikTok. Carino, uh, I've never done TikTok. I only watch because it's funny. And yeah, there's some, they have some good memes as well. Do you have an account? Do you make some videos as well? Fuck no. I just I just look at it and it's like, I just feel I feel the cringe from you know the people there. It's like why? Just go outside and play football, people. <laughs> why you gotta take that sixty-five year old man, man? <laughs> yeah, disgusting. Disgusting. Yeah. I just like I just see like. Like suddenly, I, I saw like so many people like just outside doing the TikTok dances. Like, okay, interesting. I, like, you know, to have the confidence in, in public. Like, wow. Yeah, bunch of losers. I'd rather just play Pokemon Go and just walk around with my phone, right? Catching imaginary things. Rather than you know you doing dances and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, who likes being physical? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Non-gamer. <laughs> oh, it's so warm. Yeah, so I think so, that's it for the, the TikTok. Unless you guys have something else to say about TikTok. Yeah, I'm happy that TikTok is getting banned. Less <sighs> video, less cringe. Happy that TikTok it's, it's, is getting banned. I think it's just one of those hypes that will fade away sooner or later. Like it's not like, uh, It's not like an Instagram kind of a platform. So uh, it's more it's more like uh, based on creativity and the creativity always dies out at some point in life. That's why Vine filled. That's why uh, other similar applications also filled. What do you mean? I mean like, did you expect like Facebook to fail? I mean like no one is on Facebook anymore. Just like Instagram now, right? Facebook didn't fail. It's still like huge it's just still because of the backup. It's, huge, it's still sure. huge because of the backup from the company they have. But TikTok doesn't have that kind of backup. No, but like if people like, stop using it, it's gonna disappear just like Vine. No, like before Instagram, like Facebook was the thing, right? Probably. But now that Instagram yeah. is there, like pretty much all 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 people just went to Instagram instead of using Facebook. And Snapchat. Yeah, the thing about Facebook is whether people use it or they don't. It's gonna be yeah. there forever. Oh, by the way, Insta the Instagram is from from Facebook anyway. It is, it is the same, same company. Owner. They have but, the same owner now. But it's just like you know, like it just died off. I have a feeling you know, like. Yeah, I'm not on Facebook at all actually. Yeah, right. Before that, I was like a lot on Facebook, you know. Same. And just like now, I just like nah, Instagram is the thing. It's like Snapchat as well, right? Is Snapchat also owned by? Our no, I think Zuckerberg. it's Google. I don't know. I'm not sure. Snapchat. Okay, I think that's it for the TikTokerinos, uh, for the explosion and the pilot license. Do we have something else to talk about? Or you guys want to share with audience? Uh, I guess we can say from Oberon Kingdom that it's heading the right direction. And we have some a lot of positive feedback. The server is live, and yeah, there's a lot of activity going on on the server right now. Yeah. Also, new... Yone got uh, released. Yeah, there's a new champion. Oh. Yone, Did you play brother him of uh, Yasuo. Did you play mid Nakib? Yeah, he's really yeah. basic. It's what really mean, straightforward. Basic? What do you mean? Basic. Uh, I mean, you, basic you, see, you, see his, you see his like unique kit, man. The, 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 his passive with the crit, his Q, yeah, and the knock. Never man. seen that before in my life. <laughs> <laughs> his old knocks up. Oh, instead of damaging people who are knocked up, man, innovative, innovative. Sounds like an alpha Q. I mean, my fault, old. Incredible. Incredible, insane, unbelievable. Exactly. I yeah, think that's it for uh, the podcast, then, guys. Yeah, do you guys want to shout yourself out? Thanks for watching. I'm Pentakane. See you next week. See you next well, week. That was not very enthusiastic, Nakib. I expect more energy from you. Um, more I'm love, dry. more I'm dry passion from, uh, from the weather. Oh. <laughs> 
Okay. Okay, what else would you be dry on, mate? Maybe a little bit of that dry, that kind of dry? Maybe. Maybe a little bit of everything. All right. All right. Well, I'm David the Weed. See you next week. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. It's next week, 4 o'clock. Same time, same people. Be there. Or be square. Or around. We don't judge. But no fucking triangles. Fuck those. Yeah, fuck those triangles.